In this ukulele review video, we are going over the flight fire. That's right, the Fireball Tenor EQ. This is electric, acoustic, and I'm going to play this thing both acoustically, but I will plug it in so you can hear this pickup as well. Welcome to Ukite the Pros. I'm Terry Carter, and I am excited and happy to bring you the Flight Fireball. These are now available at store.ukitethepros.com. <laughs> um, and it's funny because I've actually had a, a relationship with Flight for a, a number of years before I started carrying them. They were kind enough to donate several instruments over the years to different giveaways and challenges that I have. And then I was like, why aren't I carrying them in my store? And now I do. So store.ukitethepros.com, you can get the full line of flight ukuleles now. This one is the Fireball. All right, we're going to get into this. I'm going to play it both acoustically, but I will be plugging it in as well so you can hear what the pickup sounds like as well. Let's slow it down, though. Slow it down. First of all, if you're new to the channel watching this video, you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. Turn on that bell notification. Besides the reviews, we do challenges, we do tutorials, a bunch of stuff related to the ukulele, so make sure you subscribe now. And then during this video, if you dig this, anything we're doing here, you like this instrument, you like me, you like the channel, you want to spread ukulele love, make sure to leave a comment, smash that like button. It really does help and make a difference. So, all right, are you ready? Let's dive into right here, the flight fireball. So I'm starting this thing off acoustically. I'll plug it in in a second. You'll see because there'll be a big cable coming out of there when I do. But I want you to hear this thing acoustically. I got a couple mics going on, one above and one below, so you can really get the sound of this. This is a tenor ukulele. Now, the Fireball is really cool. Mango. Mm. Mm -mm. Mango is a great wood. Not all companies have mango. In fact, there's not a whole lot of companies out there that do the mango, the Romero's Creation, Koloha, Rebel, but really it's a beautiful wood, as you can see, and I'll show you a little bit more closer. Just a beautiful wood. It's a really nice, warm, lush sound wood as well. And the thing that I like about these flights is besides the quality, the great products that they use here, the wood, everything else, but the value. I mean, you're getting a lot, a lot of value in this instrument. And I'll even go over, even including the very cool sound port, which I'll show you. Uh, so you get a lot of value as well in this instrument. All right, as I mentioned, this is a tenor size. Check this out. Solid mango, beautiful mango. Mango's got a lot of variation in it. Just absolutely beautiful. You're going to notice a lot of various things here, like this and this and that. Okay, I'll... I'll I'll tell you what those are, but you got the beautiful solid mango. That's solid mango top. What I love what they've done here is here in the rosette, here in the cutaway, this helps you get up to higher frets, here on the binding, here on the armrest. This is stained maple, so it's really beautiful. Maple is a great wood, and they, they stained it to give it a little bit of that contrast between the mango and the darker wood, which is really, really cool. You do have a rosette, uh, rosewood, <laughs> rosette, rosewood bridge here, as well as a fretboard. I'll get to that in a second. All right, so again, I mentioned the cutaway. Kind of cool little sound port here, sound hole. And what's cool about the sound port, if you haven't used it before, is besides just hearing the uke this way, you can hear it as a player come out of this sound port right here. All right, these do have the Worth Browns, which if you've seen my videos, I have, I mean, I have a lot of videos on string reviews, but one of them where I compare a bunch of fluorocarbon strings, the Browns were one of my top favorite strings. So the Worth Brown strings, this has a 
high G on it. If you want low G, we can do that as well as advanced setups. We can do everything at store.ukulectopros.com. We are a full-fledged repair shop as well. So check that out, store.ukulectopros.com. All right, then solid mango sides. I've shown you this, but solid mango. Here's where the pickup is, boom. And if you look inside right here, you can see the volume and the tone knob for that. And then solid mango back as well. Look at that. Boom. All solid wood. You know, if you follow my channel, if you follow any of my classes, my courses, everything at youcollectopros.com, you know how much I stress the sound of solid wood. It's just a, such a more beautiful, organic, lush sound than, than laminate wood. And so you know that I'm a big fan of the solid wood. All right, let me, uh, let me do this. I'm going to tune up real quick <laughs> and then let me do some playing. Listen to that. Listen to that. Gorgeous sounding, great feeling uke as well as looking uke as well. Now, I'm going to plug it in next. Before we get to that, before we get to that, make sure to leave a comment. What are you thinking so far? I tried to do a little strumming, a little bit of a little bit of kind of finger picking as well, work it up and down the neck a little bit. So leave a comment. What do you think of this flight fireball <laughs> tenor, tenor EQ? All right, as we move up here, to the neck. It does have a satin neck. Okay, so you got the, the gloss, the gloss body that you have the satin neck here. Nice tuners here. And then did did you notice? Did you really did you notice? <laughs> Look at the, the headstock. A really unique headstock here with this open center design like that. The most important part, well, actually, one more thing. It has a maple head plate here. But the specs, I know a lot of you, especially if you're a tenor player, you need to have, you need to know that nut width. <laughs> so the nut width is an inch and a half. So plenty, plenty of room here on this. You do have the 17 inch scale from the nut to the saddle. I mentioned this already, the rosewood fretboard, and then you have the dots up here on this fretboard. And then you also have it on the side as well. So really, really great, great. You What? We're gonna do next. <laughs> what we're gonna do is let me grab the cord. We'll plug this in. Let me set up my system here, and I'll show you what it sounds like plugged in. And we are plugged in, <laughs> ready to go on this thing. So I'm using a pickup. Now it does have a volume and a tone knob here, right here inside. I just usually when I run these things, I usually run them all the way open, so the volume all the way up, the EQ, the, the EQ to tone all the way up. But you have that ability to change it right there if you need it. All right. What do you think it sounds like? Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna play a couple of things I already played just so you can hear the comparison. All right, so that was a piece. That was actually one of my pieces from my fingerstyle mastery course. If you're into fingerstyle, check that out, youcutthepros.com. There's a course, there's a book, there's everything you know to get to more fingerstyle playing. All right, what did you think of that with the pickup? I'll do another piece as well with it. But again, store.youcutthepros.com. And what else does this come with? 
Well, it also comes with the flight <laughs> gig bag here, but we also offer hard shell cases. And I already mentioned we have a full fledged repair shop that can do setups, add strap buttons, everything else you need, store.ukatepros.com. All right, let me play one more piece for you. Slow it down a little bit for you. Mm, and let's take it up. Mm. Little half step slide. Mm. Nice trick here. You know, you know, if you watch my review, it is we're not getting away without doing a little bit of the blues. All right, so there you go. You heard it acoustically. You heard it plugged in. You saw the wood. You saw the specs, everything. Now it's time for you to decide. What do you think? Take a stance. Leave a comment below. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. What do you think of the flight fireball? I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And I even like to do little things like this to just make the, the pins here, which I guess I should have mentioned the pins here to the bridge. They just have a little design on them. So little, there's little, the little details in it that make it really nice. So anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Remember, store.ukulelepros.com, full line of all the flight ukuleles. You can check that out over there. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for all the support, sharing this video, all that kind of stuff. Make sure to check out ukulelepros.com for your courses. We got a bunch of free stuff as well, premium membership, everything over there. So that's going to do it. If you like this, you like me, you want to follow me more besides here on the YouTube channel, you can check us out on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and everything. <laughs> We're there. Check us out, youcollectthepros.com. All right, that's going to do it for me. I'm out of here, and we'll see you later.